let's break down the compositions first. Uh, major differences. No KO on crew. No breach on Navi. Uh, the difference in initiations is Shao is on Fade. We have breach on crew. Then uh, we have both races, which makes sense with both of those characters they ha because they have synergy. We have the stun, we have the seas to combo it with the pain shells, and then additionally we have the second duelist with the stun as well for crew. Sentinels are the same, smokers are the same, which makes sense because Omen, when you only play one controller on this map, uh, and you have no supplemental controller like a Viper or a Harbor, well then you need smokes that are recurring, right? On a pro level you can't really play as such an open map unless you plan super stomp uh, executes then you can play a brimstone but if you don't if you play to if you want to play a little bit more slow a little bit more defaulty then the omen brings more value than the brimstone um and um that's about it the, the, the main difference is the essentially no duelist no second duelist and the second duelist for crew esports and crew sacrifices in this case the ability to shut down utility in favor of just another run it down character right when whenever i see uh whenever i see neon being used in any composition it kind of shows to me that the team wants to have like very let's say um on attack a very planned out quick attack when the barrier drops which might be easier to read than in, against other teams let's see i didn't watch this map so let's see if this is actually going to be the case when crew is going to be attacking are they on attack right now uh yeah they're on attack okay let's gonna we're gonna pay attention to that uh when it comes to like the barrier drop and we're gonna see any kind of particular insta pushes with the neon and the satchels you have a fade raise combo but how often are you gonna be sending that in let's see that's the one way that, uh, by the way, was the first thing that I ever used on this map <laughs> when I did, did, the, did the guide uh, for Lotus that you can find on my YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's the barrier drop insta push onto B. It's so fast, it's very hard to stop. But as you can see, actually, there was a place to plant, but Xan didn't want to commit. This, this nanosome leaves it open here to plant. Right? Let me check. Yeah, it ends over here. So he could plan still, right? Let me just double check if I'm not talking garbage. Yeah, yeah, of course. So interesting. Interesting. Pushing for a one way, it's very, very, very um, brave by crew. So Angel literally just gets a free kill. Super fast opening. But that's that's what I would expect from a Neon, right? Yeah, I said brave when it comes to pushing for a one-way because it's just not very smart, is it? Right? They use the Moonbots to like go through it. But it's like you're still gonna be in a very unfavorable position. You have no safe space to stay. You have to do what he just did, jump out of waterfall. That's a great way to end the rounds there. This round was chaotic, right? You try to go for that Although, if Angel would have been hit by that paranoia, this could have been different. So crew with a good idea on this pistol. But the reaction I wonder what would happen if Xand would actually plant, right? Definitely hurts. And I also think that Possibly the idea was to pivot towards C the entire time, given the fact that they were even coming around from mount. This time, no antics across. Unless the plan was to fake plant on B and then go back. It wasn't successful, so we can't really say it, right? Unless we sp unless we would speak with the team, we wouldn't know. But did he get headshotted? Yeah, he no, I mean, yeah, for like twenty. The KO dagger just initially with the one way uh, on, on C controls that space a lot. Remember, this map has three orbs, right? So it, it, it does way different, way different dynamic when it comes to the old economy from other maps apart from Fracture, which has four, right? And it is a Navi buy here. The two rifles being, or the three rifles, Bulldog and Guardians here. 
So not as impactful as that. Have you heard about the guard sweeping all of its employees? It's crazy. I mean, you know, companies going under is normal in business. That's again the same setup. Xan this time went literally just went onto site. That paint shell on the B side is just so nuts. It covers like almost the entire site, man. Just trying to push through waterfall. It makes me want to play race on, on Lotus, I'm not going to lie. Like, the ability to just shut down the B-side with just one piece of utility is nuts. Yeah. That is true. It's being avoided because it's very hard to attack. All right, let's see. Another round. Let's see what's the response. This is like a bonus round for Navi, but essentially Navi never plays bonuses. Even if they play bonuses, look at the equipment. They have two Guardians, two Phantoms, and a Bulldog. That's essentially a full buy. They have full utility, uh, and that always happens with Navi because on round two, they always play two Ghosts. Like, that's something that you can be you can guarantee that every single time Navi wins a pistol round, they go for two ghosts and two, uh, uh, sorry, and three rifles. The cheaper ones, right? But they go for it. So they have the ability to, um, to play the bonus round essentially with a very, very huge advantage. That's not, I didn't see any other team that does this so consistently. That's something that you just will always see from Navi. They force it on, or they didn't force. Navi doesn't force. That's what allows them to build up the, the, the economy. They still have enough cash to play the full round in this one. Even if Navi loses this round, they still have a full buy for the next one. Forcing means that you spend everything that you have to buy this round. All right. Early, uh, early control. Um, fade and raise the raise news on defense the paint shells no she did not because of the early control this is so interesting it's like because of the neon essentially the defenders get a little bit more info because Cena didn't even have to use paint shells onto the long on A side because the players from the C side already had the info that the neon is here and it's pushing so they didn't have to use a lot of utility to control A side, just the fade eye gave a lot of info. So this is actually kind of interesting dynamic that I never considered, but I now when I think about it, it just makes sense. Why, why on earth would you sacrifice anything on that position where you know that your opponents are already pushing somewhere else? Against the FPX. Oddly enough, yeah. The team now he has joined under the banner of Navi, so... And A, look, look at A. The, Navi has no control over a uh, someone could be at the broken wall. So Cena just stays there as an anchor to make sure no one is going out. Wow, that's a really aggressive setup. Wait, they, they just go for the one flash, nothing else? I think there's only one flash, right? The smoke goes for the one way. And what is, what is problematic though, Xand, I'm almost certain that Xand had Angel from this direction. Let me check something. He's standing here, and Xand is standing here. Let me check that. I think Xand heard him. This is where Angel is standing, and Xand is standing here. Ten, yeah, so... If uh, now depends on the uh, now depends on the audio on LAN, Xan could hear, um, Xan could hear Angel because it's in range of 14 meters. Like it's kind of nuts when you think about it, but at LAN environment, he could not hear it as well. They're so aggressive here. This is way too far. You're absolutely right. It's so aggressive. And it's two for one, so it's worth it. That flash. Barely gets anybody except for the players back, so they're able to isolate that close player, but Shan not able to find any. Interesting that Angel didn't use the paranoia Very though, right? Aggressive here. This like, barely gets any find any. I guess you can find like a synergy between it, because if you paranoia first, then you cannot swing out that fast. And if you paranoia second, well the players are already like 
half flashed or something. And you cannot really paranoia before the flash because then the flash gets denied. There's Killjoy Utility and there it is. The Raise Nade is going to clear that out. You're not going to get fooled on that three times in a row so gets you flashed up. The turret should... Good morning, Mia. Mia. <laughs> Almost said Miaro. Yeah, it's actually yeah. Sugetsu who pushes it as well. That's good there. That smoke to bait him into it. Davies ducks in immediately. Sugetsu has no time to get in. Oh, it's not a cross -back. It's just Nags. And Nags was good for one. Whenever I see someone losing Satchel like that, I'm going to look like a fat finger. <laughs> Still a little work with the Cena tries to dance around. But Cruz secures the site and secures the really? site. In terms of definitely a good in that regard. All right. So now, as you can see, uh, oh, so he gets to spend too much on, on his util. So he plays a Spectre, but we have four rifles otherwise. Oh, maybe he bought the full armor, actually. I think so he gets to bought full armor last round. Well, I actually disagree with, with Bala that Molly didn't do much. That's the point. He just jumped through it. He got 40 damage. That's, that's not really a lot. That's the perspective I would like all players to have. It's the, the damage is not important. You took the site. You have to be fearless when it comes to mollies. You have to take the damage sometimes. And in rank, that is not happening. Yeah, we couldn't push. We couldn't follow you, man. There was a fucking molly. Ugh. That's what you typically what people will say. And that's how you lose rounds. The breach utility is just so suffocating. And they've got a turret to control the flank. And KJ, most importantly here, nothing to deny this. And there it is. So it's all on the CNET on the flank, and there's four players potentially here at Mount. I mean, truly, they know. Oof. The flash, the swing out. Yeah, he didn't even react to the flash, man. That's... I'm a from, from, not being from what you can see, like, from situations like that, um... It's just the, the, the experience on the map. You're just not expecting a flash here, so not even reacting to it of margins to stay alive to avoid the lockdown yeah. and still get his <laughs> molly from brim and phoenix do a lot of damage yeah but do you see a molly from brim on or phoenix here no we don't and i think leaning towards the seaside that pressure you saw what they did there instead of going for just mountain control they went for more they recognized the setup that sugetsu was playing for towards b was causing them a lot of problems the funny part is Sugetsu switched completely onto the C site, so yep. he had two mollies there ready for them. And honestly, holding without. Yeah, but so far it's the very, very fast executes from the crew, right? They utilize that neon um, yeah, early, early that. round, and that's the upside of using neon, but also downside. It in in theory it's easy to read what's gonna be the opening, right? Yeah, you cannot, you cannot really shoot through that with a Spectre, so you get Why on earth would you do that? You just give info. What the hell? Oh, he's dead, right? He missed! Never mind. They saved the day. Never happened. We didn't see it. Angel's behind. Oh, my goodness. They're so weak. Oh, if he gets the third one, man. If he gets the third one, that will be absolutely nuts. How he even got there? He just ulted, man. He just ulted behind the player. Just Melsa didn't even react. No one heard him. Now the question is, how bad is the Salmon land in this case? And Shan saves the round. That could have been disastrous. Oh my goodness. I'm wondering what obscured Angel's TP in there. I thought that wall is bangable with a Spectre? No, no. Spectre is low penetration. Most of the... There's not a single wall, like a real wall, that you can penetrate with a Spectre. You can barely shoot through boxes. You can shoot through like some paper walls, like for example, hookah wall from site. You can shoot with the Spectre and deal like six damage. And that's the first round that they actually push through it. Let's see. Now there's going to be a clash, and we'll see if the speed from Shand is enough to get through. He's flashed up. Yeah, he had no chance. He was flash. He was knife. Wait, this is already the next round. Holy crap! This this pace is just. Look, we start the round, and oh. Angel is already on top of the broken wall, and the push was stopped by the by the KO dagger, and someone is already dead. That, of course, it's Neon. By whom? By Shao. There are four players stack on A, and just they play retake on B and C. Flash up. Up, yeah, he
But then Omen here dies, so it's one for one. Defense is not in a good spot. But then it's one for one again. No, wait, two for one. So this is a, this is a brawl like that. I guess it's positive for defenders, right? Finn will like Icebox Nest Walls. Yeah, Icebox Nest Walls are also very thin, so you can shoot with a Spectre for that, but don't expect to kill anyone. If sound is bad in land, what could Riot do to make it better? I have no insights what kind of hardware is being used and if the players have their own IEMs. Because there was there was a uh, can't remember which international LAN had the problem with giving the players the riot IMs and that's something as a player I would never agree to that like what the fuck if I'm a professional player I'm using my own IMs that I have I have custom made for myself that also limit the sound much more like. First thing, nice aggression, by the way. It, it's it's a it's a two v three. That's that's a misconception that I hear from a lot of casters, by the way, in many games. Like when you're at a disadvantage, you can be patient. You you can be like on the mercy of your opponent of taking space you need to be a little bit more aggressive like this like isolate the sound boxes because also the crowd helped out loud a little bit yo you, the 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 containers that you see on stage they don't really do much Timeout out for Navi. They find themselves down two rounds. And while it seemed like crew were going to have a hard time getting boot. That first goal swap pressuring. Be stretched a little thin. Also there, Angel going for that TP. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Didn't work out. We've seen some success from players like Navera, for example. And just the strength of Omen in that test. Deal with that A main push as best as they did. Remember, while losing Shan. Yep. Early space. Speaking of Shand, he has the ult to work with this round. Same setup. Wait, what happened with the B utility? Oh, there is no utility. All right, all right, this is low buy. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, unfortunately, Navi is one team that never liked stingers. I tried, my friends. I tried. Doombra is one of the analysts that I spoke about how stinger is broken and wanted to, to like, convert him. And the players from Navi never wanted to play Stingers because they just like sheriffs more. And there's the ult, the flash, the smoke, the fast lane, everything. As Shan looking for anything not. Interesting, he didn't slide there. How much further does he go? There it is. He's rewarded for his aggression. Thing is, Hashetti here has. And then he just used the slide to slide away. I'm not sure. They've got Molly's on the spike. And just 34 years old, did you know? I mean, I uh, know yes, I knew. Navi didn't really have guns to work with this round, but given the post fight setup from Crew, if there was any sliver of hope, it just seems all but gone. They kind of have to fight, right? Truly, they just have to go. Burr, burr, burr. Oh my oh, gosh. No. Okay. And this could be bad. They've gotten two. Kills get traded right back, and Davies cleans it up. So. It's, it's such a, I, I hate this position. Like, it's such a, look, such a choke point to play in post plant. It's so just rough, right? If you peek into this, like, from the left side, you're exposed to so many angles, right? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the from this angle, it's much better, but then you can also be pre-spanned through the wall because there's only one position where you can be at. Here's a little bit wider, but it, in general, like this is this is such a choke point, man. I really dislike the post plant in there. Oh, okay then, but it's again two v two. There's not much. There's not much strategy involved here, man. I'm, I really want to like break it down, but it's just like oh, okay. Five seconds in the round, four, four players are dead, and it's like okay. TP's gonna come in here shortly from Melzer. They'll plant the spike. He can even get off if he wants. 
Note here how close Shaunsu gets you. Both are to having their ultimates online. One kill could be all the difference. But with that in mind, the spike down. Melser with a narrow exit. This this problem is uh, escalated by the fact that Crew is playing the Neon. Wait, what? And Shao now left in a surely almost I think situation. I think he activated the disease too early, so it dropped on the on the roof instead of the backside. For a second, I thought this was meant to be an I, but I, I think this was meant to be C's. He just dropped it too early. I mean, Crew just looks so much more comfortable, right? Like Melser is calling an exceptional game, and we we talked about it a little bit. In general, guys, remember that Angel is very, very experienced and he's in the IGL. And that's that's why I was always saying, like, it doesn't really matter, like, what age are you? Because what it only matters is, uh, do you have the time to sacrifice it to play full time? Like, pro play in esports, in a, in a complicated game like Valorant, requires just a lot of hours per day. And that's the only thing. Like the older you get, you get a little bit more. Sorry, uh, yeah, more responsibilities if you have a family and so on. So you can't really sacrifice that much at the same amount of time. Remember when I did the interview with DRX? He said 11, 12 hours per day. If you have a family, that's not possible. Into the next, and Davies leading the charge this time. Oh, but I mean, his duo's right behind him. Shan dashing in as well. They have full control of the site. The thing is, they have to get. Isn't this map too new to have sophisticated? Ulti based tactics? No, that. Uh, no, no. <laughs> it affects a little bit, but that's the, also the best way. New maps are the best for the util coordinated teams because they can catch people off guard. You guys remember how Fracture was. Why on earth is Melza walking out with a knife out there? Uh, you guys. You guys remember how um, yeah, this this was very awful. There's nothing to break down. It was just awful gameplay. Um, no coordination here. You guys remember how Fracture was released and Fnatic just literally won three games on Fracture because no one knew how to play around Astra Breach race combo. That's why new maps are great for teams who are creative. Hello, Mateo. Hello, Nugget. Angel will retire in a year or two? You don't know that. Did you speak with him? Did he say anything like that? I don't think he did. I mean, they're trying to dictate the pace. Right? You see it even in, that, in the opening to that round. I like this, uh, this, this play, though, by Navi. Like, what they do here is... This is, this is something that we have seen so far being played by them a few times. So they post Sugetsu on C and B, right? Right here. Uh, they post Sugetsu on C and B. Uh, this is round 10. I'll write this down because maybe you can use it later on. We have seen this already in the past, so I know this is like a plan that they do. Um, so they post to get to on C and B, the alarm bot is just literally just telling them, oh shit, they're already on B or not. And then C is being posted with the nanosomes to make sure that they can actually defend the C for a long time. And the reason for that, why there are nanosomes on C and they're not on B, is because of this. We have a stack of four players on A, so the rotation towards B is faster, and you don't need to have a lot of utility to stop them and delaying for the rotation. But the C is further away from the A players. So they need more time to retake it, right? Because they either do the flank or the normal rotation through spawn or through B, right? So there are like three, three different angles here. So they want to go for that. And the nanosomes buy a little bit of time to make sure that they have a little bit more time for the rotation to happen. And then they take the space on A. So if there's no one on A long, you can see the combo here. Pain shells, Cs, right? And KO dagger as well um, for the informations. And then Omen 
TPs on the broken wall and just stays here if there's no one else. Keep it with Zipan. And then the instant rotation happens, right? Omen just stays on the broken wall and the instant rotations happen towards the other side. Now one way will make sure that Angel can just completely cover that. So they're doing what they can to, to swing momentum back their way, but... Angel's got trouble here. Yes, he does. You were just mentioning how he's often in these first duels. And Good way of practicing holding tight angles. I just can't hit people peeking into my cross, even though my reaction time is pretty, pretty good. Oh, did, did they know about him? Okay, they knew, knew about him. But hey, they, look, look, look how they had to use a lot of utility, right? Thank God he had the ultimate, but they used a lot to retake this spike. Uh, th this space paranoia flash from breach as well but uh, this is something i've some explained before look this breach flash doesn't really do anything because if someone is affected by the paranoia he's unaffected by the breach flash because you can't see the breach flash right so if you do this the it should be the other way around first you use the breach flash then you use the paranoia Really that's how you should use it the other way around yeah. Yeah. actually you should record your you should record the moments you have problems with holding and then check if the distance from the wall is good if nothing else you see them perhaps they're gonna pivot towards B I think they are Paula they hit the revolving door towards A to draw rotations back there as well and they fully commit into B this is so well rehearsed I think this map will be split to all with a fast comp like Bouvnia. It's hard to hold a side, so attackers have it easy when they decide to switch. Crew had no chance. Well, in general, the teams that are more coordinated will have easier time on attack. Surely at this point, you've equalized numbers, and there it is. The ult used. Nag trying to keep them back. So far, is able to. The flash is fast, and he hits both of them. How was that fade ult being used? That that is really awful ult. Already used from sight though. And he was coming from from tunnel B. I think the call was mid round. That's why the ult is so awful. Like, it wasn't used from CT to get an info on site. It was just, re like, proactively being used on the B main, like, after the retake already happened. So I, I think it was just a, it was just a call, like, oh, okay, let's go for it now. Jesus Christ. The shot from Davies and the Red Bull clutch from Crew. They clawed their way back into the round. They infested the ultimate What if Paranoia is miss? missed? What do I mean? With the breach flash? But what does it matter? Like, it doesn't matter if the paranoia is missing or something. What matters is that if you paranoia first and you hit a player, then that breach flash has no effect. And if you do it the first way, you first breach flash and then paranoia, then the players can affect it by two flashes. You can always say, like, the other way around. What if the breach flash misses? Angel again, TP deep now, and Sugetsu's who's there to cover later. He's so far up, man. <laughs> it's only Sheriff's one stinger here for CNET. One player spotted, oh. and that's for Shandico, but Zipan's able to hold them back with two clean shots out from the Guardian. Yeah, not a fan of this gameplay, to be honest. Good smoke, too. They recover weapons. Yep. That's two weapons. Zipan has been insane, and that call from Navi is really, really nice. Just stack up on B, get a lot of information towards C. You they just they expect like that Crew is going to go for a second C. attack with a Neon. Even on top of that, the fact we were just talking about Angel taking C main so far, yeah. so far up so early. No, I didn't watch the game yesterday. He can't help as easily mm -hmm. into the B hit. Did they walk through the smoke? Shao's here to receive. Can he get into tree? Ah, but there's a flash set up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh. he's surrounded. Nice double peek. I mean, where I mean not a double peek, but like two different down. angles being hold. Held. And that's the type of strat to come out that I was expecting on some of these ecos. Zip on with just the guardian, he finds two, they recover the weapons, the smoke through as well with that mount control to open up the door. They give themselves such good chances. A lot of times, even those eco rounds, even if you get two picks or so, it's still difficult if you can't recover the weapons. So, understanding the win con and understanding how crew is calling this map. Mm -mm. 
This time, change of Navi concept. They are pushing out with multiple players on C, while Suigetsu and Shao are holding A. Early aggression towards C out from Navi, but the rest of crew is A. You hear the ult use instantly as they're waiting for anyone to challenge. This is just five players, man. Show their face. Uh, uh, Angel is still like expecting the killer to hold the flank. Little does he know, like crew doesn't doesn't give a fuck. They just go five man. Oh, that's so difficult. But now he would sh he should be getting the info now. Like when you see the killjoy look down, right? And now depending on the information that are being fed to to him by his team, he should make an assumption of what's happening on the map. So I wouldn't mind if you would actually like if you would actually go for the flank. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Cnet has paint shells, and he is on backside. Why is he not using that to counter the killjoy lockdown? That is really weird. Because this is like... This is like the easiest one to counter that. To, ex to explain to you, right? Let me check exactly the position of the plant of the killjoy lockdown. It's in the corner, and he was playing backside, and there's a smoke on his right side. So in theory, let me check. So this is, this is like, you know, inside Harry nitpicky me. Don't take this seriously, right? But if you want to learn, this is the best way. Let's see if you're able to throw the grenade from that angle that I was thinking about. Because he played... He played backside here. There's a smoke on the right side. And the killjoy lockdown is in the corner here. So if your back is covered, right? Can you do this? Oh, no, not like that. Not a, not a, not a uh, raise main, I guess. How, how deep is this? Okay, like this. Let's see. Dude! Okay, I forgot I have a full screen mode. So I literally cannot uh cannot jump with V at the same time and the epic pen. Okay, you can. This should this should destroy this should destroy uh this should destroy the, the lockdown if you do it this way. I think. No, not here. Yeah, it's gonna be different angle. It should be possible, I think. Without a jump, just full running. So difficult to deal with. Is it gonna be a swing? Here goes Cena with the ult. Chow just has to fight, but the flashes are there. They also, remember, if you if you have a guardian, you can shoot through that wall. Things back in their favor. A 1v3. What the heck does Angel do here? Can he be the savior that Navi needs in this round? Ashetti weak. Shand weak. Melser weak. Moving an angle. And now the fault line in space. There's no way out. A 9 3 lead out from Kurumbolo. What a response to map one. It's just so nice and prepared and abusing the things on this map that need to be abused. I love the awareness and preparation they had for that ult to come in. The counter flash and Cena has really no options there except yep. for full send yep. and get out. A very impressive first half out from Crew. And now it's Navi on the attacking side. We'll see if they're able to replicate some of that success. All right, it's half. Let's see. All right, let's take a look now how the defense is going to be played by Crew and the attack by Navi. The double duelist gaps that you would have yep. normally. So this A main push is still going to work. Out. One one free um, setup by Crew. I wonder if they destroyed the doors. And then on the other side, I don't think they did. About how the C push, the C long push was so difficult for Navi to deal with. And now 
you don't even really have the same tools that crew had to execute that themselves. It has to be seen it. And Zipan has been Remember, Navi is a little bit slower on the executes. They don't rely. Even if they would be playing Neon, I would I would say that same shit. They don't really rely on like early pushes. They're gonna be more methodical. So that smoke that you can see uh, right here in this position allows you to be more aggressive without even like using a lot of players over here because you deny info. You deny info from stairs, you deny info from site. Uh, and unless someone is standing in this area, you're going to have that info denied. So this is very important to, to understand why the smoke is not deeper into stairs. It just allows them for more info denial. Now, Melsa is just playing as a bot here. Alarm of what I mean. Uh, to make sure that he knows if someone is coming into B. But now they lost all the informations. And the plant is going to happen. And you have absolutely no idea how many players are there. Very, very odd stun. Very odd stun. I understand that they want to combo paint shows. But those, this this didn't really look good. Like the angle that they had, look those those paint shots. I don't. It's just they they go way too deep, way too deep. If if you, I would say, I would say if you are going like this, if you're the raise, there's a smoke in front of you, right? So you don't want to, uh, you don't want to like bounce it like this. You want to just chuck it over the wall. It's gonna be way more effective, like, like just ch just chuck it, right? And it just lands directly under the spot, like with full efficiency. Because if you just bounce it like this, you never know what's gonna be the outcome. Like you have to be very experienced with the bounce to make sure that it it lands correctly. See how far it it went away, even though it bounced over here. But if you chuck it with with the wall, well then you're more certain about like what how it's gonna bounce. Hold the shall stay here. Just playing on the other side of the smoke. Just playing on the other side of the wall. Funny part is this flash from Melzer might actually <laughs> let them clear. Oh my gosh. Okay, then. What discipline to clear that. But either way, Navi's able to maintain oh, control wait. of the site, or at least they were for a moment. What the happened? Two here, you see the tap. But observing might, uh, might be very chaotic here. With 47 HP, tries to make a run at it and fails. But I do think, I do think that using the the paint shells so late with the stun, when they already had the sight, I think that stun paint shells were too late. They should have been left for the retake. Reflective of the overall game and how it's gone so far. A chance to see that again is nice. I like the reflank as well for me. You catch the angel interview pre-match? No, what do you say? The breakable door. A lot of times the problem when you go for any mid presence on any map, honestly, in this game. Low, super low buy by crew. Hmm. No aftershock being done, being bought by XCD and no boombot being bought by Davies. I don't like that at all. But it is what it is. I already, I think I already made the, made the piece with the fact that Pro teams are not buying utility when they lose pistol rounds. It is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, I love this on both sides. I, I like the idea from Kuru. And, and that was kind of something that Navi did faint a little bit. That C-mount control early in the pistol round. So, hey, it's a good call. Potentially they'll go for the same thing. But then Angel as well. Said that they sh that, that they have no predefined play style and that they adapt to what the opponent is doing and that's how the game should be played. That sounds like what I'm always saying. That sounds like what I'm always saying. You always need to take account into what kind of composition is the opponent playing and act accordingly, right? Like, before we went into the vote review, I literally said about, well, just because there's a new one on the opposing side, I'm going to assume that the, all of the attack rounds are going to be blitz fast happened right it's very easy read and you can see that navi was playing accordingly to that even though they only had three rounds one they were all kind of close and the reads were good you know yo ash thank you much for the 84 months welcome back buddy how are you doing thank you so much for the continuous support 84 months is that is that an anniversary math is hard in the morning help me out here chat 
Math is hard in the morning. Taking the risk to open the Divided by 12. Can backfire, yeah. but he only has it's to seven years, right? Is that seven years? Seven times 12? Yeah, that's 84. Seven times 12. 70 plus 40. Yeah, yeah. It's seven years, man, Ash. Seven years. That's insane. Thank you so much, my friend. So he's not really worried. He's not concerned. He can take all the fights he wants. If he Why improperly people buy Vandal second round after winning a Persona? Is that in every game? That is not in every game. I spoke about this already as well. Navi has a very specific strategy on every single uh, second round after winning pistol. Every time they buy two, three rifles. I mean, sorry, always three rifles. Is two vandals and a bulldog or two vandals and a guardian. And then two players are playing ghosts. And then they play all together typically or slow default and gather up. So they don't lose those guns. And the, even if they lose those guns, two players can pick them up. And then they have a full buy on the quote-unquote bonus round. Not many teams are doing this as consistently as Navi, because Navi is doing it literally every time. This could be a flash and a push, maybe a fault line too, and a bunch of stuns. Oh, you saw this. How many players did they lose? One player. So they didn't lose a single gun in this case. And now we look at the buy. So, hey, it's a now look at the bind that's gonna happen from uh, from Navi. But then Angel as well, the Every single player now has a rifle that is essentially a full buy. They have full util. They have some small shields. That's not a problem. And they have a full buy for the next one. Even if they don't get a single kill and they lose this round, right? They still have a full buy for the next one. Taking the risk to open the door. A lot of times that can backfire. Yeah. But he only has a ghost, so that makes sense or not? Of course, it makes sense. How Navi plays makes sense. Unfortunately, sometimes they int still when they know the theory, but I think they are getting better at it. But I like the strategy because it nullifies the effect of the really bad bonus round concept. And it's even more important when your opponent is at 9. Look. If you play bonus round, typically like, oh, well, you, you know, it was a good bonus round. Uh, we lost, but it was a good bonus round. It doesn't matter. You lost the round. At a pro level, if your opponents are going into a double digits area, that is already very scary. So you can't really rely on a bonus round with weaker weaker equipment. So the, the less rounds you have, the more importance of rounds like this is, be, it, like, is being put, like the emphasis is being put on those buys. So it, the lower you are on the rounds, the more important are those kind of buys. Big portion of that lead, four rounds still here. This is a pivotal round, similar to what I said for crew on ascent. I mean, it's the same scoreline just reversed. Melsa again with the same position as the Alamo bot, but the problem is he's like an Alamo bot that he gets contact. He can't really repeek. So you see this? This is the second time. I don't like that position. It's really like one of those positions that you are so trapped you can't really play in it anymore and you have to rotate i really dislike it but at least he's being supplemented by breach and raise there bring it back towards the sense as well this is where navi on their attack side remember they picked attack when they had the chance very well with the adaptations and the mid round calls and the rotations and the depth of the strap book this is the time to see if it's as prepared here on Lotus. The Hit sand. Addition to the game. It's interesting to me to see that crew plays crew plays retake on C, retake on A, and they kind of only hold B. And the depth because the B is the easiest one to retake. And that one sound that on Navi did on B just made them play like that. It's a little bit like knee-jerk reaction. Like By that I mean like fast reaction that was a little bit too hasty. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if this is a good... This I hate this stun. Why on earth are you stunning here? No one is fighting. You see this? This is the second time from when I see the stun from crew on defense and I'm like, this, this is pointless. This, uh, this does nothing. Out from onto the site. See how inconsequential the stun is? 
they didn't combo anything, the painters were not used, and now they're doing the retake and they don't have the stun. A lot of members very close by. Yeah, but that stun was really early. So you don't Yeah, Sunny Vibala has like now, realized that as well. And so deep into this post plant. Playing so far off too, the paranoia, the flash. They've committed onto the site. The thing is they're playing so far off, Navi is it. Yeah, it, seen it had a terrible angle for himself there because his opponent sees him first. Yeah, oh, this, is, this looks pretty good actually. This should win this, right? No, never mind. Oh? Why right click? Show what? Why right click? Just ridiculous. The idea from now be so good, but why don't left click from that range, man? Right click goes like a like in an actually different and actually different directions, man. What the fuck? But you see this. This is a good example of this is like the same as, as in ascent CT. If you if you're stuck in the corner, your opponent will see you here first. Look, he's gonna see Cnet before Cnet sees him. So he's literally dead here every single time. Oh, in this case, the ammunition with the vandals are the ones taking the duels. Yep. So a little bit of a misplay there, but super crucially. Dude, that was so close, man. I was a little bit of trolling by Navi, not gonna lie, but a lot of trolling by by Crew. I'll be honest with you. And sure, they lose the round, but Crew are absolutely broke. They should probably get full buy. Uh, sorry, full buy. Uh, uh, low buy, right? Yeah, look at this. One stinger, one friends, one classic, man. Oh my god. And that's and and Navi is just like we lost the round, but we played smart and pistol round, so we have now full buy. So even though they lost the round, but they almost won it, right? They almost won that round. But even though they lost it and the opponent is already in 10 digits, they have a very high chance at winning this round. Oh my god, Angel, what are you doing? Pretty early fight for him, man. Jesus Christ, I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all by Angel. This is like... Th this is one of the things that I really dislike about Angel. Sometimes he's like the smartest person in the room, but sometimes there's stuff like this against low buys. It's like, I, I have s nightmares about his split. When he goes like first... Nice. In an isolated angle, and then the team has no smokes. But at least he can focus on IGLing. But it's like... Man, sometimes it's really rough to watch that. So that Shan can recross back. And the fight for Navi on this plot in defense, when there was actually an engagement in A main, was a lot more pushed up. Maybe he thought he was low. I can guarantee you that the comms in a pro level are good enough to not confuse that with like, then no one's going to say, low, he's low, he's low, he's low, when someone hit him for 50. What do you think about Cynet for Ardis? Well, Seen it is insanely good, which is he played a send on the jet, right? He probably performed. I didn't watch a send, but I would assume that you you can expect Seen it to perform well on jet on ascent. Now his his raise was always iffy, but it actually looks okay in here. Yeah, they didn't grab the rifle. Didn't want to sacrifice another player in fury. Wait, what? This is a tough plan for everybody. Look at He's starting to take the route in from the revolving door on C. What are those stunts, man? I was like, this this bridge stun from Navi was pretty decent to stop this retake at this point, but there's no bridge on Navi. This is the this is the stun from from crew. Like, again, dude. Keep an eye on He's starting to creep forward. Not only he hits his own player, but it's also like... It doesn't give you anything because the team was not even close to making an actual retake. This is a tough plan for everybody but Cena. Look at Shao. He's actually rotating all the way through spawn. They're playing this really well. 
but he just has to find the timing. They just cleared this entire lane. I mean, they're just starting to surround and so Oh my god, Xand just go. got two That's kills in this what? round. No utility. I don't know that they are ball Dude, Shao single-handedly rescues the team. Whoops. What a KO the ground. But this round, it was very close to losing just because of Angel's confidence. Right? Or lack of forethought. But it wouldn't have mattered, but it would have been a similar situation to what we just saw a round ago. Where Navi lose the round and end up with no weapons whatsoever. And that would have been a massive snowball in the favor of Crew as well. Even that their two ults are economically very favorable as well. I think it's like, I don't know, man. Perfectly timed. Angel is just, if he stops doing those silly moves sometimes, and they made the right call to fall off. it would be very consistent. <laughs> okay, look at this. Fast push through B main. From crew and oh, the dagger MVP. Oh. But easy to read, right? It is literally, it's literally the same shit that we have seen on attack. They just want to be super aggro on defense. And it's going to bite them back. So far, Zipan is playing out of his mind. Another first kill for him. Yeah, I know you guys can see KO uh, utility. Yeah, it's fine. He's four out of eight. <laughs> oh, see, you can see him fully. <laughs> Make my cam a little bit smaller. Like this. <coughs> as well well they got the entire side i like this plant by the way it's a little bit more awkward to plant but it's way better in post plant for long oh no that's a big punish from angel nice good hold with two angles why on earth did sand slide here explain me this there's no reason to slide here. There's no countdown on it, so you don't have to press it because it decays or something, like a jet dash. You go away from your player, so, like, look. Right here, because of his dash, because of his slide, sorry, he separated from Davies, so Davies can never trade him. In case someone was just holding it, this guy dies, and there's no trade. No control. Yeah. And and the crowd goes silent. I mean, they were roaring a second ago. I don't know, man. Just like a, a switch flipped. <laughs> as soon as Melzer dies. Did you watch the Liquid match? I had it on my TV, but when I saw how Liquid played, I was like, yeah, this is not worth to, like watching. And now I feel safe again. <laughs> we're going up to three rounds. Navi is working this lead, and again, remember on ascent how they hunted the guns down. Yeah. They have got the pulse, and nobody's watching Angel. On this side, if they can no. lead into him, there's no way he doesn't get both. Oh, do we have a knife again? Nope, no knife, but two kills out for Angel. Four on the round, seven for Navi. What an unbelievable turn of events here as well for this team. It's Angel who is kind of helping Zipon to get back into this. Not Sugetsu, not Shao, yep. not CNET. Yep, not the usual suspects. You're absolutely right. Angel. Brum, brum. This is actually Unlucky. the first time out. I mean, they've been in the lead for a significant portion. In the we've, we've actually liquid fans. Losing control of the game. Losing control of the half. Let's see. A low buy for crew again. They have Davies ultimate, but it's just like there's no way you gotta just push out aggressively again. I would say that there's no way that you do this, but I don't know. Maybe they do. They, maybe they will do it, and they will pay the price because Zipan will just knife them again. Three players on B. Default setup by Navi. He only. He only got one, right? Second one there, you see the, uh, the fault line out to try to provide some cover, to try to They're provide collapsing. some help. Uh-oh. They're collapsing. Uh-oh. What? 
If it wasn't the nade, it was gonna be the old. Either way, he dies. Dude, he takes one in the grave. All right, there's a lot of trolling in here. That's how we planned it. There's a lot of trolling in here. There's zero reasons to use that showstopper in this situation. Zero reasons. The only saving grace on that ult would be, oh, I get two kills here. And I am, and I'm alive. Let's call it a bug. Do you think TL's performance was caused by bad IGLing? Uh, I don't think bad IGLing makes you not play fundamentals well. Two kills plus two weapons was his hope? Was his idea, I hope? I mean, that's a terrible idea in the first place. So, that, that that's why I'm saying this is... This is slight, slight trolling. For Angel and Zipan, it's still well controlled. It's well thought out. It's, it's still. How do you explain TL bad performance? They literally played like a pug. He's thirty-three. Like this, there were no double peaks. There were no good trades. There were no good synergies with utility. It was all every single round was so detached, like it just made me mad. What are you trying to achieve here? Like you're already on a disadvantage, and you're most likely gonna get killed. So it's like, ah, I don't know, man. A neon op, and I think this is okay given the fact that Navi hasn't really been sending it towards A. They've been controlling C mount. They've been controlling. He goes his though. Yeah, when you're on a disadvantage and you're on defense, that makes. Oh, you actually stick it. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, man? Okay. Well, sometimes these really ballsy plays are good. Ooh. That's pretty good. I mean, the the other kills are not as important. The important kill is the first one. Like this this kill here is this is the most important kill of the round. And I actually really like the TP. I really like the TP. So let me explain to you why I, why I like this TP. Because when he does it, right? When he does it, he's not exposed to anything. He's risking a little bit in case people would anticipate that he's going to be in that corner. But that's not going to happen when he's doing it for the first time ever, right? Because he TPs into this corner right here. So he's not exposed to anything. Unless someone is standing literally over here, they're not going to see it, right? And what is very important is that he draws the attention of the player from C. Typically, C is being defended only by the Killjoy. So if the Killjoy stands on Waterfall, she cannot react. If she's standing on Deep of Sight, she needs to like rotate fast and she's not going to hear it. right? And if she's standing on Backside, that means that now she's worried and she cannot pay attention to the Sight. So even if he wouldn't have like... Um, Let's say if he didn't get the kill instantly, but hides and stays alive, that brings enough value for the execute. It's actually a very smart uh, position of the TP. I really like it. I really like it. Although I don't like the fact that he didn't use the paranoia here. You know? I don't like the fact that he just peaked with the paranoia being used after the, after the ult. That's something I didn't like. Melsa ruins the party. But the round goes their way nonetheless. Oh my goodness. Angel's a bad dude, bro. That guy, I mean, yeah, he needs a different name. He's not an angel. <laughs> that is just mean. Was his Angel's history? Was he a good CS player? <laughs> yeah, he was good. Not like super accomplished, but pretty good. The TP there, I mean, it's so well planned, too. Like just around the corner. So if yeah. you're the player on site, you have to run all the way back. And now. Now, crew, which probably have never thought of playing... Pulling Paranoia out and getting peaked would be tragic. Then no one should be that close, okay. though. Angel has, uh, has TP, we need to stay in spawn. Like, that, <laughs> that's just wild to think about. And now we are now on tiebreaker tie point. Fast B push. Three stinger? Oh, come on, man. This is so easy to read by Navi, man. Look, this is so easy to read, man. B push and Angel's already tipping across A, so gets just sitting in the fast lane, gets the trade, but gives up a rifle for it. I don't know, man. 
Also, what the hell happened with the omen on the minimap? Can you look at this? What the hell is just happening with the omen on the minimap? Look. Oh shit, you don't see it. Wait. Look at the omen of, of the minimap. He is on a long. That's just wild to think about. And then he goes for a TP. Tie, Suddenly, he's in spawn. But he's TPing on A long towards Broken Wall. That's a weird bug. Fast B push and Angel's already TPing across A, so gets you just sitting in the fast lane. Gets the trade, but gives up a rifle for it. And I don't know if there's enough space here for Navi to continue to commit towards this A side. And as I say that, marking out spawn and re clearing to continue to hold that. Yeah, let's call it a bug. It's an actual bug. Node here, Shao has his ult, Cena does too. There's, there's two trains of thoughts when, you're, when your IGL is fragging as hard as they are. And that's what I always say. On you go one for one on defense, it's really not positive. Wait, Angel heard that... T yeah, 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 yeah. He heard that Kildred turret was being recalled. So now he's going to stay at B because he expected a push because of that. Or he expects to have like a, a re-aggression on A-Long. I really like that. They go for a stack on the eco, they're just going to the other side. It's like yep. he, it's like he has the mini map. Free side. I, and I mean any sort of momentum we, as we talk about IGLs, any sort of momentum a read Melser may have had on the game it was really lost at half. And even further, I think the TP round sends you for another loop as well. Yeah. Yep. Because that's when you finally come up with the idea, okay, let's let's get this neon up up. Let's mm. try to just have that posted up on a... Well, I wouldn't mind seeing that using his ult here. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I really like that. They need to get this round. It's insanely important to get this round. And using that is very important. 4v2. Why are you pushing? A little inti? Yeah, I don't think they get away. Yep. But we're tied up at 10. Navi have so much money. Yeah. Man, they can invest for days. Yeah, they can. I mean... Yeah, they have a lot of cash, but that really made no fucking sense, man. That really made absolutely no sense. This is, like, really bad habit. This is, like, really bad habit. Like, why on... Oh, my God. Wait, I, you guys mentioned these breach stun being useless. I need to check it. What? Because that's when you finally come up with the idea... He just stands backside C. Okay, well, it's not... Okay, that's not that terrible. But they also use the turret for the same shit. So it's like, at this point, it's like, I don't mind the stun, because you need to get a space on the C, like, CT here, you know, here. So you need to get a space. But they use two pieces of utility. So it's like, okay, I guess we don't have anything else. I don't know, man. In terms of the prime ults. So again, a fast A push. Okay, and now they know that this space is like lost, but it's like it's okay, man. They don't mind. Yeah, and how do you stand? Melsa literally stands in the same spot. It's so easy to read, man. And you guys remember how I explained, although this push from Angel is very inti. Um, you guys remember how I explained that th that this position from Melsa I really dislike it because it just doesn't allow you a lot of freedom. You know? Ashetti trying to dash around the utility and he can't find much to get two shots are clean and the Oosh, the good job good well. good utility but, he detained. but why on earth why on earth oh, but the where's the killer wait 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 that covers the spike yeah and Nax locked down from B that covers the spike and then they just didn't wait for it this is this is big big trolling this is big trolling man like why on earth are they using killer lockdown and then use instantly bridge ult. Like, this makes no sense. 
Like, th this really makes no sense because you're losing the synergy. Like, there's no synergy right now. It's like two detached, like there's a line here, and there's one team, and there's a second one. So there are two defending teams, and then there's the third team that is playing in the middle, and that's the attackers. And those teams are completely separate and have separate comps, because that it looks like that. Like, it's not miscommunication as well, because it's it's just lack of, like, plan. Look, they use the ults at the same time. That means that they didn't have a plan. Like, no one said, I'm using this first. They, they would just go, like, oh, let's just go. You know? And then the... I don't know, man. Literally, the defender, the defender kills your lockdown has zero impact whatsoever. Zero impact whatsoever because Navi has to fight the moment that breach ult goes in, and they do. They do the nightfall... The two players on top of side are not affected by the killjoy lockdown. So the only player affected by the killjoy lockdown is is the actual killjoy. Let me check something. From here, yeah, look look at the range. Like it literally doesn't affect anyone here. Like, look look at this. This is so weird, man. This is so weird. And also, what is even weirding me out more is the fact that Omen has the space. Look, look at Omen. He has that space there. They could have ulted from here instead of this. But again, it would make more sense to not even ult by Killjoy if you plan to use the breach lockdown, uh, breach uh, ult. So yeah, um, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty mad. And if I would be coach of the team, I would be even madder. The nightfall paired with the volley from KJ yeah. is what got that... Oh my goodness. That's adorable. I mean, that's just... <laughs> that is adorable. May not be crew fans feeling that way. But may not be crew fans feeling that way. That stun was awfully short. That way. <laughs> but again, you see this investment of utility towards A. How do they choose to go about this from the revolving door? The only thing keeping the two omens away. How far away is Sinet? Four out of eight. Okay. The turret of Nags, and it is the eco again, and you've seen they've been prone to stacking. Navi has to have that in their head. They know that's the case. So let's try to not only feel off the stack, but also be happy to have that in their head. They the I, uh, okay, so I really dislike the approach from uh, from crew here. Look look at crew having a free stack on C, right? But they use so much util to make sure that the players will not push C. Look, this is a defender smoke. So not only they they made a one way on C long, but they also made a smoke on here, which essentially makes the players not go into the stack. If you if you don't understand how this works, type in exclamation mark pressure um, and watch the video. Because they created pressure that pushed away the players from their stack, which I heavily dislike. Like, I heavily dislike the, the, this type of utility because it denies your plan. I'm not saying they would have won if, they come, if the opponents come C, but they go into three players instead of one or two. You know? So it's like the utility from crew is working against them instead of helping them out. Yeah, and now it's just like free sight. And this, and this stack on C is like meaningless because they use too much util on it. Chance ult to work with as well. You imagine that will come into play this round. Davy smoked off, haunted. Everything before him, but the, the gang's all here, man. Oh, hmm. Flash from Zipon, maybe? He's so hmm. In the smoke, when does he okay. get the ult and it's okay. gone? <laughs> okay. That was what they needed to okay. get into the round, and as quickly as it starts, it evaporates. They one way A instead or something? Yeah. yeah. They would have pushed into them on C. Any plans of doing a review of a Korean WCG final between Rio and Maru DK? 
Mm, isn't that happening like right now? Also, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know the teams. I'm not sure if it's interesting. I mean, talk about curses. Blessings. It's a 3 9 blessing. Crew with one final hope. No utility. I mean, sorry, no, no ultimates for crew this round. Uh, also, no, no ultimates for Navi, although there is the ultimate from Omen. Let's see what he's gonna use. Look at how far up Crew's playing. So he can easily ult into their spawn again, and they'd have no idea. Absolutely right. Does he do it, though? No way. Does he have the gusto to do it again? Again, the crowd fully behind Crew. They feel the intensity of the moment. All before him here. It's a flash through mound. They're not going to find anything, but they're no. going to follow up on this. And Cena's alone, in a sense. Oh, mm -hmm. oh there's got to be help there, surely. They're I like the push with the... Here, now, I like the push of the Omen, but it, again, works against them. Because of the stack on C, the kills or utility is meaningless. You see this? Like, they use so much utility, like, it just makes no sense. Look, if you play Kilja on C side, you want your opponents to come to side, but they used almost every single piece of utility. They destroyed the doors, by the way, so they rotate fast. Then they see that there's some movement on C long, and instead of letting the opponents to go on side here into the Kildred trap and wait for them to go for the rotating doors, they just open the rotating doors right now, use the paranoia, push out, Gather the space, push them away from this position, and now the killjoy setup is meaningless. They're really close to flanking here, though. Melser has no paranoia. Oh, sand is close. Oh, but he's gonna get. So what are you gonna uh, what are you gonna do now? The now the neon is fucked. She had like she couldn't even hold because she she had to hold like the entire team, right? Remember, Angel still has his ult, and he's the only one out for a day. He's pulling so much. Yeah, look, killjoy just. Reposition to A because Omen is anchoring because of his position that was deep C. They had to swap places. This is this is like a consequence of their own actions. I wonder how much Angel read into it. I don't think he could read a lot because they had no info about the killer even playing there. But it's like crew outplayed themselves. It literally played with no no sentinel this round. I think we're gonna do a Lotus Lab on this because this is kind of ridiculous. Look at Angel on the flank. It's not gonna be an ult. He may just do it the long way. But it looks like he's gonna. Big trolling moment from Zippan. Commits with their hold on to the site. Massive kill up from Elsa so far. Cena dancing around the utility. The flash in his face has to give the space up. And it's all just. Oh, and Angel now has like a read on the flank. Such a long time, but they destroyed the doors for him, so he doesn't have to destroy it himself. So he just literally uses, he literally uses the way that was paved by crew. Right now, like it's. So far, Cena dancing around the utility. The flash in his face has to give the space up, and it's all just delaying. It's all just buying time for the main character to do it again. It's Angel. Now the paranoia to buy some space. Crew have to give the space right back up. 4v4 here and again look at angel he's wrapped all the way around in the spot they've got them stuck i There's really no like the plant out. the kills come through for now Ian i really 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 like the plant because when you plant for this position right here you're able to play from ct for it as well you see that's where that's why angel went from waterfall to ct because now he has a pretty clear sight on the on the diffuser about if you plant here, well, then you have to, like, go out like this, right? So it's going to be tough. And also, when you play from long, like, you have pretty good understanding as well. It's a little bit more awkward because the player is more on the left. So you have to, like, swing a little bit more. But then the player can only be in one position. Look, he can actually no, He can defuse from here, right? I think that people just didn't start doing that yet. Because I, I'm almost certain you can defuse from here. And that might change a little bit then. Actually kind of interesting. Because... Because you... you, you ha if you stand over here, very easy to spam. But if you stand over like here and defuse from here... 
then it's not as easy to get killed. You, you can, if you're if you're actually if this plant is gonna get smoked off and you defuse from the box, you probably win nine out of ten. All right, that was a nice photo review.